Okay, guys, this week we're going to watch the uh, Las Vegas uh, high-speed chase shoot, which ends up in a crash, ends up in another shooting. Um, we're going to go through this, and let's just watch. So this video is kind of long. I'll probably, uh, instead of fast-forwarding it, what you'll see here is, look, there's a chase. The officer's making phone calls, or, excuse me, radio calls, right? And the guys they're, they're following is there's three guys in the car, um, two are wanted for murder, um, and they're in a stolen car, right? And uh, they find the car, they start tailing the car, and it's, it starts being this high-speed chase through Vegas. And look how they're winding through cr crowded city streets, right? Everything's going on here. Um, and then finally, there's multiple cops chasing them, and then somehow the guy uh, we're watching ends up behind him, and then look what he does. Okay, if you notice, right, um, the back window's already gone, right? And if you look here, you'll see that, you know, so back window's already gone, and look, this officer starts to fire through his windshield, and look, let's look at his gun. Where do you think the bullet's going to go? You think it's going to hit the vehicle or you're going to go high? What I would tell you is be aware of your surroundings. Look, we're in a neighborhood. Look at the stuff around here. We got cars. We got trucks. Um, there's a lot of stuff around here, man. And then, you know, you got to be aware of, you know, once that bullet leaves the barrel, you can't take it back. Even though you're following and shooting at murderers and these guys were shooting out of their car, shooting at the cops first right? Um, you got to be aware once that bullet leaves the barrel, you can't take it back. You might be trying to shoot at these guys, but uh, that bullet could go somewhere else and hurt somewhere else. And that's on you, right? So what I would tell you is it's probably not the best idea to be in a high speed chase in a urban area and shooting through your windshield, right? I'd also say is there's a total of about 60 shots fired, um, you know, probably about 30 from uh, this guy um, and about 30 from the bad guys, according to the news, right? And then watch, they just, and then I'll keep playing this, right? They keep shooting. Look. He's chasing. Right? Look, he shoots. He's got to speed up to catch up. Look, blowing off stop signs. Look. Right now, no hands on the wheel. I'd say he's about, uh, I don't know, man, probably 10, 20 yards from the vehicle, right? Each one of those holes in the windshield makes a different hole. Every time the bullet's got to go through the glass, it's going to deflect a little bit. So if you're going to shoot through the windshield, pick a spot and try to send them all through there. That way not every round has to penetrate the glass to get to where you're shooting right and anyway, both hands off the wheel um man i can tell you this if you're if you're over 20 miles an hour i would never recommend an officer uh take his hands off the wheel in a high speed chase in an urban area and then look at if we zoom up over here like you know uh let's go back a little bit like these are just regular people's houses you know this is side streets this is your neighborhood right so they end up shooting, they trade fire, right, still chasing these guys, and then watch, he tries to pull up alongside, right, and then look, what you'll see is, look, the windows are already shot out, and the windows are shot out from the bad guys shooting them out at the cops, right, so we have no evidence that the, right now that this officer who's shooting even ends up uh, hitting the vehicle, right? And then watch. Okay, so it's hard to see, but uh, vehicle crashes right here, right? Okay, look at the back of the vehicle. If he was shooting at this thing from the back, right, where where are the bullet holes? Okay, we've been shooting at this vehicle, but where is the evidence that we hit this vehicle? There might be something right here. The glass is broken out, but they were shooting at the cops as well. So, vehicle ends up crashing into the school right here, and guess what happens? Look, look at the officer's gun. You are... You are dry in potentially the most fatal situation you could be in, right? Is look, the car stopped. If they were shooting at you while they were driving, now they're stable, right? Now you're you're not mobile. They're not mobile. This is the chance you could be hit. This is the most dangerous moment of this whole situation, right? And 
man, you're running into this gunfight with a dry gun, right? And then, look, he instantly got the reload. But, look, you'll see a guy runs away. And, oh, by the way, just so you know, this is a school right here. This is actually a school. So one guy runs away, right? And there's actually three guys in the car. Look, he gets out. And then, look, the passenger, this is the only fatality right here. The passenger jumps over, tries to drive. And, look, he the passenger's so amped up right now. Look, what he jumps in the driver's seat, and he puts it in drive, and he ends up hitting the wall. He's trying to get out of there, but he doesn't really know. Luckily, he doesn't know what to do. And then, look, he's backing up towards the officer's car. And this is where the officer does this. Mag dump into the vehicle, crashes into the wall. This is the only fatality, right? Um, so the other guy ran off. He was shot by an off-duty officer with a shotgun. The school door was locked. He couldn't get in, right? And uh, one guy got away that wasn't wounded at all. So we had one guy who was wounded from a shotgun who ran away, other guy who ran away that was only wounded a little bit, and the only fatality was this guy, Right, But that fatality happens right here. This officer does a mag dump. Look, the guy's backing up to try to get out of there, right? And look, it's just a mag dump. And then finally, this is where the guy dies. He hits the wall of the school. A couple lessons learned here is, look, if you're going to drive, just drive. The shooting on the officer's part, look, if it doesn't end this situation right now, don't do it right. They, they we're shooting. We're the shooting ended up at a school. I would tell you all these high speed chases generally end up in a crash, and then that spurs a gunfight. And this crash in a gunfight was in an urban area to a school. The next thing I would say as we go through this is, uh, um, if this is where the fatality actually happens, why not wait till now? Right? Look, the the car chase ends up being a game of chess. And what I mean by a game of chess is, right, who's going to make the the wrong move first, right? So as the officer, you give the car distance, you stay behind him the whole time. That game of chess is what the officer we're watching right now, uh, that game of chess is what caused us, right, to actually, to caused him to be number one. He kind of stayed back. There was another SUV, if we rewind it. There was another SUV in front of him, and this game of chess, right, ends up putting him in first, right? Watch. Watch. This is where the the SUV starts to come in. So this game of chess, staying off him, right, just following enough to see him, right, this game of chess is what causes him to end up being first, right? So why not take it as a game of chess? I mean, look, they're shooting at us, right? Okay, I get it. Totally shooting at us. But here's the deal. Was their fire effective? I mean, look, if they shot here, is their fire effective? I'm going to tell you no, but I'm going to tell you right now that back windshield's still in, right? We turn the corner, right? And we got to find the point where that windshield's no longer in, right? So look how far we are away. This is a game of chess. But even though you're far away, it gives you that 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 clear moment to where, look, the other cop went left. There's another cop trying to turn around look you see the clear lane because you're far enough behind this is that chest that i'm talking about another guy gets in front of you you're still behind and then look you take the good line all of a sudden who's first you right so this is that game of chest and then somewhere look that back window isn't in anymore right and somewhere through here is where those guys are are actually shooting probably somewhere around right here right they start shooting in and uh so the drive is a game of chess. Stay on it until you can win the checkmate. I would also say is you stay back on them until a good place. And instead of trying to shoot, right, maybe if I found a good place, I could end up hitting these guys on one of the back corners like – um, as they're driving, maybe I could creep up and kind of hit one of the back corners of the uh, of their car. This would cause them to spin out, lose control, spin out, and crash into something. So maybe through a good game of chess, instead of shooting, I could think this through. I could try to be a little ahead of the game and cause them to crash in a place that I choose, right? Like, look, you can see the neighborhood, all the neighborhood cars. Like, this isn't the place for a gunfight. But look, maybe this, maybe this, uh, this car right here. Look, as you see the school coming up, the school's all concrete. Maybe 
we could have came on this side of the car, hit the back of it out so it nosed in and hit the wall and ends up crashing right where it ends up crashing, right? Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things that could have happened, but when you get in the gunfight, when you're sucked into that gunfight, it's hard to take that deep breath and then, like, uh, you'll get tunnel vision. You'll In this gunfight, you get tunnel vision. You're just like, must shoot, must kill these guys. And it's like looking through a straw. And it takes a lot to take that deep breath, right? The de-escalation techniques calm yourself down to open up that field of view to all of it, right? And then, um, you know, and we've already talked about this, but the last piece is if, if this is where the crash and the... Uh, the gunplay and the you know the uh, killing the bad guys is going to happen. Why not wait till now? You know, this, I can't tell you how bad this is. Is this is where the gunfight should start? If these guys really wanted to fight, and he's running into a gunfight at about I don't know maybe five to ten yards, and he's got no ammo right now. I think this is the the biggest mistake of all. Right? Is don't go to the gunfight with a dry gun. Okay. Um, overall, man, I know, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of the news articles I read about this in my research was, you know, how great it was that he was shooting from the car, but I'll tell you, none of those rounds for a car was the game changer. The game changer came right here when he does this mag dump into the vehicle. This is the game changer. This ends it right here, right? So... If this is actually the game-changing ending, the scenario-winning ending, why not just play chess until now?